Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever video from camcooler.com. My name is Roy, or some of the girls on the team call me El Roy, a select few that is. And no, by the way, I did not choose those personalized license plates. They were picked for me, not my preference. Anyway, welcome to our channel. We, uh, we're a new startup business in Gilbert, Arizona. We've been doing this for a little over two years now, um, making GoPro coolers and uh, selling them locally. Had very good success. Uh, before we get started with that, I'd like to uh, talk about our uh, universal fence mount. It's, it's been a very successful product so far. Thank you for everyone that's purchased it. Uh, we're printing these locally here uh, in our workshop with uh, uh, PETG carbon fiber infused filament. Uh, the 3D printing process is a, it's the wave of the future. It uh, allows us to uh, change the design very quickly. We can print one out, test it, and uh, we really, we really like how uh, this product is. There's a lot of good uh, and great fence mounts on the market already. Some of them are pretty expensive. Uh, we've tried to come in uh, with a very usable product with a lot of these extra things included at a more reasonable price, and yet provide you with a very durable uh, product that's gonna get many years of use out of it. So that's available on our website. Uh, this is with the uh, the, the attachment, uh, what we're recommending now, the small arm, that gives you some uh, more versatility if you're trying to use a GoPro with the, the hookup, uh, the built-in up here, uh, you can use this with a cell phone to stream the game. Uh, and then recently we've uh, included an adapter mount, included free of charge for the Mevo Start camera. That's become a very popular camera lately. So uh, we, uh, we're we including these uh, in all the kits now going out free of charge. And uh, that should get you um, on the fence and recording if you have a Mevo Start. Uh, ideally, we would probably recommend using the arm with that camera as well. But uh, that's a, a very budget-friendly option, at least to get you started and, and going if you are using that camera. Uh, obviously, we have the integrated uh, GoPro uh, light mount. Your official GoPro um, uh, hooks and buckles probably won't fit in here. They might be a little loose. Uh, we modeled this after some of the other um, aftermarket ones that uh, are showing up. So it's not uh, completely 100% uh, like the GoPro one. No, it's, it's different. Uh, so uh, we recommend not using the GoPro official uh, mounts. Use the included J-hook buckle that we provide with this. Uh, camera placement is everything when it comes to uh, recording uh, softball and baseball games. Uh, you know, if you're doing a recruiting video, not having the chain link fence or the netting in the frame, that's a must. Uh, you know, when you're sending that out to a prospective college coach, make it easy for them. Make them a good video. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. No matter how good the mount is, if you position the camera poorly, you're not going to like the results. Anyway, on to what we're here mainly to talk about, and uh, that's the uh, GoPro cooler. We've had, uh, this is the final version now that's uh, shipping. We've had very good results with this product. We've been using uh, something similar to this for over two years now. Uh, we just put some data on our website about um, the temperatures of some of the hot summer games that we've recorded over the last two years. That's available at camcooler.com. You can check it out on our blog. We have some stressed test data as well. Uh, recently we had the uh, Hero 10 recording. Uh, it was over seven seven hours recording with the cooler fans in inside the house. We tried it without the cooler fans. It went uh, I think 25 minutes, 28 minutes if I remember right. That's uh, all on there. So these are very effective. Uh, what they do is they just go over. This is a Hero 8. But you put it on the fence on whatever mount you're using and uh, it just sits over here and encases the, uh, the GoPro. And it provides enough air around the uh, GoPro to keep it cool and not overheating. It's not active refrigeration. I get that question a lot. We tried, uh, we looked at that. Uh, there are some devices out there that uh, would be like a cooling plate. Um, in a perfect world, that would probably work really good if you had electrical access at every ballpark and the plugins actually worked. And you could beat out all the other parents to get there to plug in your device first. Uh, that would probably work. But for this solution... With a battery bank, a battery bank powered, we think that um, the just the fans are enough. 
And according to GoPro and Mevo, the Logitech camera, you, what you need is something just to kind of wick the, the heat away, some active cooling. Uh, a shade device might help, uh, but that's probably not going to be effective once you get up over 100, 100 degrees. Uh, you know, like what we play here in the Phoenix area, we get some pretty hot days. So this is a built-in shade device, and it uh, actively cools uh, the GoPro, and we've had, like I said, very good success with it. Uh, we would recommend uh, on those really hot days not having the battery in the GoPro, uh, and then you know start out with your GoPro in the shade, or maybe in the cooler even, that helps on those extreme days. A little history, how we got started. Uh, this was the first uh, design I came up with. It's uh, kind of crude, but it worked. Everywhere I went, everyone wanted to buy this or wanted to know where I bought it. Didn't really think I would ever even think about the idea of manufacturing these. But it, there obviously was a demand because everywhere I went, people wanted that. So that's a little rough. We uh, came out with this model a little later, a little more refined, but it just wasn't going to be a practical solution as far as... Um, mass producing this and keeping it locally produced here in the U.S. So uh, we uh, did a lot of research and we decided that the 3D printing uh, was the best option. And um, that's where we are now. A much more compact design. This is one right off the printer. It's got some, uh, some post-processing that we have to go in there and do. These are the support materials to keep uh, the filament and stuff uh, from lying down. Uh, this is printed with uh, ASA plastic. It's very similar to ABS plastic, but uh, it's more UV uh, stable. So in the hot, in the sun, uh, where these are going to be, uh, it, it's going to be a little more long lasting than uh, PLA. I uh, we started printing out in PLA. PLA is a very cheap polymer uh, that you can 3D print with. It prints very nice. I mean, it's very strong. Uh, just as strong, uh, maybe not quite as strong as the carbon fiber mount, but uh, it prints up really nice. But the problem with this is the, the temperature melting point. If you were to leave this into your car, you'd probably come back and it was going to be, it wouldn't melt, but it would be very flexible and probably start to deform. So we uh, never sent any of these products out with the, uh, the PLA. We uh, were going to, and then did a little more research and uh, we just didn't think we, uh, like the uh, the data results on that, the carbon fiber is about uh, two and a half, three times more the price. So, uh, we'll, but we are convinced that that's the uh, the best material for the uh, the GoPro uh, fence. Uh, we also offer um, smartphone coolers. This was the prototype. You'll see this in some of the uh, demo videos. We've since upgraded it um, with a little thicker fans. Uh, cleaned up the cable management and uh, I still use this today. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, I've been using this probably a year and a half with no failures. Uh, it does get a little dusty in there. I blow it off a little uh, with some air every now and then, but it's uh, it's been pretty effective. We've moved on to the new model here. Uh, same design and uh, it's just got the, the little beefier fans and um, a little more refined. Also printed in uh, ASA. Plastic. Recently, we've added uh, the Mevo Start to the lineup. This is, uh, I don't have any fans ready. They've all sold out right now. Uh, this is before we, uh, in these little processing after it comes off the printer, we put the fans in there and then uh, ship them out. And um, been pretty, pretty good feedback from this, uh, of the ones we've sold so far, that uh, they've been working pretty good. Uh, but back to the GoPro cooler. If you go to our webpage at camcooler.com, You'll see all the uh, testing and stress data. Uh, myself, I have a love-hate relationship with GoPro. Uh, I, I bought the uh, Hero 8 uh, a couple years ago and absolutely hated it. I was going to send it back and get my money back because it didn't work. It overheated. Uh, GoPro sent me a new one, no questions asked. Uh, I don't know if that helped, but uh, it was just it was too hot. I know a lot of people have ab abandoned the GoPro for their sporting uh, uh recording events just for that reason. Uh, we've recently upgraded to the GoPro 10, which this is being filmed on now. I primarily use that uh, for all the, uh, the recording. Uh, this is, uh, we're just at the end of the high school season here in Arizona. 
couple more games before the playoffs starts, and then we'll be back to our summer ball. We play year-round, so it gets pretty hot in the uh, summertime. I think 117 is the hottest we've ever played in, or I didn't play in it, but it was quite miserable for us sitting there. I don't know how the girls even handle that. Uh, it, it, it was it was tough. Uh, you know, some days I wish they would have picked an indoor sport, maybe, and so do they. But um, you know, this was born out of necessity. We uh, uh, we've had very good luck with this. Like I said earlier, uh, had no camera overheats uh, uh, since we started uh, using these uh, methods of cooling. And um, maybe uh, get your GoPro out and uh, dust it off and uh, upgrade to the GoPro 10 and uh, buy these coolers. We're starting them out at $40. Uh, they're very effective and they're on our webpage. And we also have an Etsy store. Uh, the webpage has probably uh, more stock available and a little more favorable pricing. Uh, if you're here in the uh, Phoenix area, we're in Gilbert, uh, you can arrange for local pickup. And uh, we'll uh, save you on the shipping there as well. So check us out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll see you at the Ball Fest. <laughs>